Hey everyone, in this video we wanted to talk with you a little bit about honey uh, because when it comes to foods that contain sugar, uh, we recently did a video on fruit and how uh, fruit is pretty much consistently associated with either benign or beneficial health outcomes. Uh, and fruit is a rich source of natural sugars, especially fructose. Well, another rich source of natural sugars is honey. And you'll often uh, see... And, yeah, and someone asked on this post, the fruit post, uh, to talk about honey because he puts it in his coffee. Oh, well. Yeah. Brian. Okay, so that's where this topic came from. Um, but honey's often seen as being healthier than other forms of concentrated sugar, like regular table sugar, uh, cane syrup, high fructose corn syrup. Um, you know, there's a lot of different sources of concentrated sugar out there. They're all some combination of glucose and fructose, one or the or just one or the other. And honey's one of them. And so, because honey's natural, and because honey has like something over 200 bioactive peptides in it, or bioactive molecules, I should say. It's often seen as being healthier than other forms of sugar. But how much of those bioactive compounds can you really get in a teaspoon of honey? So if I'm remembering correctly, you would start to see a uh, clinically meaningful dose of some of these compounds at 50 to 80 grams of honey consumed every day. Um, that's a lot of added most, sugar. Yeah, and most people don't don't eat that much. Yeah. Like a teaspoon here and there. Like it's not, it's not enough. It's kind of like eating sea salt to get minerals, right? Yeah. It's the same thing. Like you're not going to fucking eat enough sea salt to get your minerals. Yeah. Uh, and in particular, I think it's relevant that uh, there was a study published back in 2015. I can't remember the author, uh, but it literally, it compared, it took people and, and had them for two weeks uh, add in addition to their normal diet, add in 50 grams of sugar from either honey, table sugar, which is sucrose, or high fructose corn syrup. And then they looked at how it affects their metabolic health. And lo and behold, there was no differences between them. Uh, all of them showed worsening glycemic control and some signs of the early development of insulin resistance yeah. from adding 50 grams of sugar. It didn't matter if it came from honey or if it came from high fructose corn Were these uh, liquid sources? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. But, I, you know, it's, it's not going to matter if you put your honey in your tea or you just consume it off the spoon. You're, you're still well, getting it. Well, uh, the honey liquefies like when it hits heat, too, so it's more mm -hmm. of a liquid, I would think, mm -hmm. when you ingest it just off of the spoon. Like, it's, it would have the same effect. Mm -hmm. theoretically in my brain. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, I think that it's, it's relatively fair to say that honey, when it comes from, to a dietary standpoint, honey is really just glorified sugar. Yeah. Um, now, there is data that specific types of honey, uh, like, like manuka, manuka honey, uh, is beneficial for wound healing when you apply it to the outside. Yeah, I have a, I put it on my wounds. I have a thing that I've used for that. And that's because it not only creates a seal from uh, infectious agents, but it also contains antibacterial peptides in it that can aid in the immune response against the wound and help in the healing process. Now, I, I'm a huge supporter of like bee pollen products because it's not sugar. Um, royal jelly isn't sugar. So those kind of things have some of these compounds that you're looking for in the honey, but they're more concentrated and they don't contain the sugar component. Yeah. Um, so if you're going to use sugar or if you're going to use honey, then I mean, awesome, but, yeah, use it's, it, but it's not any different than any other source of sugar that you would consume. Yeah. I personally don't drink any sugar. Um, I stick to stevia. So yeah. So uh, that's all we had to say on honey. If you found the content of this video helpful, then great. That's what we're trying to do. And if you know someone who you think the content of this video would help out, like uh, someone who worships honey, then share it with them.